One thing I'm not going to cover in these tutorials is installation of your digital design hardware and software. There are just so many variables involved that I suggest you refer to the documentation that came with the product or products you purchase. However, I do want to talk for a moment about the iLock. The iLock is a proprietary USB hardware dongle that holds licenses for some versions of Pro Tools and many of the other options you buy from digital design and third parties. The iLock has to be plugged into a USB port of your computer for you to start Pro Tools. You can have multiple iLocks with different licenses on each, and you can move licenses from one to another using the iLock website, iLock.com. There's no way of backing up your licenses or making a copy of them. iLock offers some insurance that you can buy to give you some protection against the loss or damage of your iLock. It's called Zero Downtime, and you'll need a second iLock to use it. You can find out more about Zero Downtime at iLock.com. DigiDesign is nice enough to give you two licenses for Pro Tools, so you can have a backup on a second iLock. Now, if I'm running Pro Tools on my main Mac, I keep my iLocks plugged in all the time. If I'm traveling with a laptop, I have my iLock on something like a keychain so I never forget it. I usually plug in the iLock to start up Pro Tools and then to load any plugins with licenses that are on the iLock. Then I unplug it and put it away. DigiDesign suggests that you keep the iLock plugged in at all times, but I've never had a problem unplugging it once Pro Tools starts up. The bottom line is take care of your iLock and your iLock will take care of you.